Hi there, wonderful awakening beings and spiritual souls. Joe Rose of joerose.com, numerologist and energy forecaster. And in this video, I'm going to be celebrating your birthday. Yes, happy birthday. What an amazing day it was the day you were born. So much was promised to you, was in store for you. Well wishes come with gifts and messages and, you know, they had great hopes for you. But did you know that you already had your path lined up for you? Your date of birth is the biggest clue into why you are here in this lifetime. Your date of birth helps me work out your life path number. And your life path number in numerology is about 50% of what takes up your energy. The life path number is all about the external influences that you are gonna deal with in this lifetime. The life path number shares your challenges, biggest lessons, and greatest opportunities. Now, I add greatest opportunities because most numerologists say, oh, it's your biggest lessons and challenges. But if you're a problem person, that's just gonna keep you stuck in a whole bunch of problems. And I want you to be a solution solver. I want you to expand and grow in this lifetime. So I want you to flip these around and say, bring it on, this is another opportunity for me to expand and grow. The life path number comes from adding all of the digits of our date of birth together and I will explain that calculation later in the video. Now I'll continue with what the life path number is all about. People often say to me, Joe, what's my purpose? If only I knew my purpose, then I would feel, I would feel like I was, I was doing what I came here for. Your purpose is to experience every single thing good or bad, up or down, black or white, hot or cold, is to experience it and see how it influences you. Your mission, however, is what your numerology shows me and your life path shows me your mission. What is it that you really have come to deal with in this lifetime? It also highlights your vision, your biggest goal. And let me tell you, this goal, the chances are, it's not about whether you're gonna be an accountant or um, a graphic designer or a florist, a builder. It's about something bigger than you. It's all, the life path number also helps us see the insight of how we're going to deal with this and the ego. What is it that ego needs to make sure this works. Now people in the personal development world, and I've been there, I've been to so many trainings and events, is like, when you're gonna ditch that ego? I want to tell you, you can't, right? So let go of ditching the ego, and now let the ego and the higher self, the soul self, work together. If you can satisfy both sides, then you are a match made in heaven, and you will live this amazing destiny that you're born to live. Now, more information about your date of birth. So the month you were born tells me your direction of choice. The week of the month you were born highlights your reactions to situations. The day you were born, this is a supportive energy to your life path number. And the full date of birth is the path of enlightenment for your soul in this lifetime. Does that make sense? Good. I will explain in further videos each individual life path number with their lessons that they are gonna grow and evolve from. And you will keep attracting these lessons over and over and over until you get it, until you master it. And then in your next lifetime, you don't need to deal with this. How do you work out the calculation? The calculation is worked out similar to your personal year number. And I've explained that in other videos. But instead of using the current year, we use the year of birth. I'm going to use an example in this video, and I love this because when I use examples, they're all different examples, people might tune into one of my videos and go, oh, Joe, I'm so excited, you chose my birthday. Well, I can't wait to find out who owns this particular birthday. 
The birthday I've chosen for this example is 18th of October 1985. I chose this birthday because October is a two digit number and the 18th is a two digit number. If it was a one digit number, we would just leave it as a one digit. Let me explain. 18, now we're always reducing down to a single number unless it's a master number, which are 11 and 22. 18 would be one plus eight equals nine. Somebody could be born on the ninth, it would just be nine. But what I'm doing is reducing down. Same as if they were born on the 27th, two plus seven is nine. We're looking to get to the individual digit, nine. October one plus zero is one. 1985, one plus nine plus eight plus five equals 23, two plus three equals five. Now, it's important that we do it this way. I know some numerologists don't, they add them all together, but I want to say they've all got something, some piece of information for you that's important and you will need to learn from it. And just like in the body, we. We've got a whole body, but we've got an arm or a leg or a mouth, and they've all got different tasks, different skills that they do, and they're all unique in their own, um, their own, what is the word I want? They're all unique in their own being. That's not the word I want. I can't think what it is. But when they come together, they're a part, work together in the team with the body, in their own right. That's the word I was looking for. So they're all unique in their own right. You know, the mouth eats the food. The feet don't eat the food, but we need the feet to go get the food. So it's all important when it comes together. And this is how the date of birth works. The day, the month, and the year, they are our three major cycles. And I'll explain them in another video. Back to this. So when we add together these three pieces of information, the 18-9, the 10-1, and the 1985-23-5, we add together nine plus one plus five equals 15. Reduce down again, one plus five is six. This particular person with this date of birth will experience in this lifetime the energy of the life path six, and they will need to watch my life path six video. I said to you a few moments back that the day we were born was the support energy for the life path number. So in this case, the person born on the 18th will have the 189 as a support number. So it's important that you find out what both of these are. And I will explain further in the individual videos. Now, I am gonna create the individual videos. And if you want to have your video as one of the first, because I'm gonna randomly put my hand in a hat or on a first come, first serve basis, do the videos for the life path numbers. If you're not sure how to work it out, leave your full date of birth in the link below. If you've worked it out, then just put up what life path number that you would love to hear from. And remember, this is your life path number, but check out your partners, check out your parents, check out your children's, because it's always handy to know what they're here to experience in this lifetime. I've certainly looked at my children and used it to help them in their education and, um, understanding some of the skills that they, they need to learn to evolve into. The life path number is all about the journey we are taking. It is influenced by other numbers and your personal year numbers do influence how you make your big mission come together. Do your mission and you will feel like you had the most amazing life ever. If you've liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do press that bell so you can be notified when your life path number comes up. I've loved connecting and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.